now joined by Dave Naylor and Farhan Lalji, who will be making their way to Glendale, Arizona next week to cover Super Bowl 57 for us. Uh, Farhan, let's start with you in the NFC. Jalen Hurts and Brock Purdy are the headliners, but they have each faced each other before on a different stage. Yeah, it goes back a ways. you got to go to the 2019 college season. Jalen Hurts in his one year at Oklahoma against Brock Purdy in Iowa State. And Hurts' team got out to a big lead, but Purdy had a bit of a comeback, and Oklahoma had to hang on, winning that game 42-41. to Both men talked about that game fondly this week. Now, look, they don't play defense much in the Big 12 Conference, but they definitely play it in the NFC. You've got the two top-ranked defenses in the National Football League going head-to-head, but both of these defenses do have some flaws, and some injuries might have an effect on on those flaws. We'll start with Jalen Hurts, who was just named a finalist for the MVP this season. He's still dealing with a bit of a shoulder injury, but he's been a full participant in practice. He hasn't even been listed on the injury report. Nick Sirianni, the Eagles head coach, says he's been ripping it in practice like he does in a normal week when he's healthy, but he still has been getting treatment. And if he does well with his arm and his legs, that could be a bit of kryptonite for San Francisco because while they're very good defensively, they do struggle against mobile quarterbacks. Meanwhile, the Eagles have a very good defense against the pass. They rush the passer very well. They're not necessarily elite at defending the run. So Christian McCaffrey could have a bit of a field day, but he's also dealing with a bit of an injury. He was seen at the end of the playoff game last week working out a calf issue. He hasn't practiced yet this week. He is expected to practice as the week progresses. Kyle Shanahan hasn't committed that he's going to play, but McCaffrey said there is zero chance he's going to miss this game. So we'll see what percentage both those men are at going into a very big NFC title game. And Dave, how about the AFC championship? What will you be focusing on in the Bengals-Chiefs matchup? Well, it's hard to get away from the issue of Patrick Mahomes' mobility. Look, when he's healthy, even when teams are able to get pressure on Patrick Mahomes, he's the hardest quarterback to sack in the National Football League. But with his mobility potentially limited, that's going to create some options for Cincinnati defensive coordinator Lou Amarumo. Does he up the pressure on Mahomes, knowing that he's not going to be able to escape it as well? Or does he flood those intermediate zones, try to take that away, not having to worry about the risk that Mahomes will turn it upfield and try to force him to throw the ball deep off a bad leg? You know, one of the things about Cincinnati's defense, they change it up week to week and actually within games. And that's worked very well for them against Kansas City. If you look at the three previous games, all of them three-point come from behind Bengal wins. The reason they were able to do that was they were able to make adjustments and shut Kansas City down. Now, the key for Kansas City is going to be able to get pressure on Joe Burrow without having to blitz, given how well Burrow is does against the blitz. Frank Clark, Chris Jones, can they go up against a banged-up offensive line and get that pressure? Because if Joe Burrow gets into a rhythm, we saw what that looks like last week against the Buffalo Bills. The time of possession, keeping the ball away. In fact, in December, when Kansas City and Cincinnati played, the Chiefs had their fewest possessions of the entire season, just eight. And by coincidence, that's the number the Buffalo Bills had last week in their loss to Cincinnati. It'll be an intriguing rematch with a win Sunday. The Bengals would be the first team in NFL history to beat the number one seed in the conference and consecutive postseasons. Thanks, guys.